Good morning, kids, and great to see you again, Finn. Good morning, Charlie and Bernie, and hi, kids. Good morning, everyone. Are we going to learn about David again today? No, not today. Today, we're going to learn a story about Jesus. Do you know who Jesus is? Well, a little. I've heard my mom talk about him. My mom is Debbie Williams, by the way. She's a church member here. Hi, Mom! Well, Jesus is someone you definitely want to know about. He is the Son of God who came to live with the humans and teach them how to be nicer and how to love more and to teach them all about God. But mean people kill Jesus. But since he's the Son of God, he actually battled death and won. And now he's with God in heaven. But Jesus left us the Holy Spirit to stay with us here on this earth as the power of God. Oh, wow! So Jesus is, like, really important? Very important. Since Jesus is the Son of God, when he lived on earth as a human, he had power. Like a superpower? Yeah, basically. He could heal people. He even rose some people from the dead. But one time there was a woman who was sick for many, many years. Did she have the coronavirus? No, it wasn't the coronavirus. It was something else. But she was sick for 12 whole years. 12 years? That's a long time to be sick. Yes, it was. And she had tried everything to get better. But when she went to all the doctors and she spent all of her money on different cures, nothing helped. Then one day she saw Jesus and she knew that if she could just touch Jesus, that his power could heal her. Oh, I remember this story. She reached through the crowd and she touched him. And the moment she touched him, she was miraculously healed. That's right. And Jesus spoke to her in front of the whole crowd. And he said to her, your faith has made you well. Wow. So Jesus healed her, but he gave her the credit for the healing? That's right. She was healed because she believed. And sometimes we just need to believe in God and believe in ourselves for good things to happen. I bet that if we believe in God and if we believe in ourselves, we could probably do some pretty awesome things. Like be a super dog! Maybe. Having faith in God, but also believing that we can do tough things are both important. So Charlie, what you're saying is that if we have faith in God, and if we believe we can do tough things, then anything is possible? Exactly. Jesus even said, with faith the size of a mustard seed, nothing is impossible. Wow! You better watch out, Mom! I believe I can be a super doggy! You already are a super dog, Finn. You're super to us. Well, kids, I know I learned something today, and I hope you did too. Be blessed, and we'll see you next week. See you, see you next, next week, week, kids. kids.